box for March. This is probably the fourth month I have received the box and I do a video about it every month. Once the box comes out, it is no longer available. So this particular box is not available anymore, but I like to do these videos to show you what comes in the box, the size and type of products that you receive. So if you're interested, you could sign up for next month's box. I will go ahead and put the link down below on how to subscribe. The boxes are $10, includes shipping, pretty good deal I think. I'll also go ahead and put the other Play by Sephora videos that I filmed in the description box below. Every month the box comes and it has a little pouch bag kind of thing that all of the products go in. The bags are really cute. I've said it before, I don't really know what I'm going to do with all of them. I have like four now. And this says, Beauty is my spirit animal. It's kind of cute. It's like a thin, cottony, tie-dye kind of fabric. I think it's good for travel, but yeah. Also in every box, you get like a little pamphlet, we'll call it. That was really fun. I think they're really nicely designed. And this one has, it says, What's your festival beauty vibe? It's a little infograph. Every box also comes with a little card that you can take into Sephora. You have to go in the store. You can't do it online. And you get 50 bonus uh, beauty insider points with any purchase. So like the March one is good until the end of April. So you have a little bit of time to use it, which is kind of nice. And then on the back, it just talks about the different products that you receive. The first product that came is this Lancome Mascara. Now, I have used this many times, and so I actually haven't even opened this one up, and I did not use this because I want to keep it for travel. I feel like I don't have a trip planned for a couple months, and these things do dry out, and I feel like they get kind of yucky once you start using them and then don't use them. This is the... I'm reading the little thing. Lancome Hypnos Drama Instant Full Body Mascara. I do love this stuff. I will go ahead and just show you. Do it backwards. That's the brush. I think it's really nice. I just, yeah, I love this mascara. It just kind of smell a little bit. Like alcohol. That's fine. Um, yeah, so I love getting these travel mascaras because I don't always like taking like the big tube when I travel, but that's nice. The next item that came is this, and it is the Sephora Contour Eye Pencil. It's a 12-hour wear crayon, and this was a little package that it came in, which I wanted to show you because it comes in a lot of colors. The color that I got was Flirting Game, and I've actually, I got the box probably I don't know, three or four days ago, and I've used this like every day. Because I kind of love it. And I'll swatch it for you. It's a really good color, I think. It's really natural, and yeah. So there's different ways that you can use it. Let me show you this, because it does come in like a bunch of different colors. Can you see? Look at all those colors. Like the purple might be fun. I don't know. I feel like I've used these before. Maybe not. It says waterproof. I don't think it's waterproof. I used it the other day and I didn't put a primer on and after like four hours I could see it was like all creased and had kind of come off. So I'm wearing it today. I actually wore it kind of like as a, I don't want to say a liner, but I put it, you know, on my, a pretty thick um, line on above my lash line and then just blended it out with powder shadow and I really like it. So let me see what it says. A long lasting mm, waterproof eye pencil in a shimmery taupe shade. It says this richly pigmented formula is perfect for defining your eyes and adding a subtle shimmer that'll stay put long after the encore. No. Plus, this mini pencil is perfect for throwing in your bag. Yes, because you probably will need to reapply it. I feel like once I put the primer on and when I like blended it out with a lot of other eyeshadow, it stayed put. But when I just kind of used it on its own, it didn't. Okay, how to use. Turn it up. Use the shimmery pencil to draw fun, festive, ready designs above your eyebrows and outside your eyes. No. Turn it down. <laughs> apply along your lash line or smudge into the outer corner of your lid for definition. I like it. Yeah, I really like it. This is definitely something I would buy. In fact, I'm going to go check out some of these oops, wrong one. Some of these colors um, because they have like a black green that's really pretty. They have a black, the purples, 
the plums. I think that could be really pretty. They have a really pretty peacock blue. So I, some of them are glitter, some of them are shimmer. I'm not sure about the glitter ones. But yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of good. The next item that came is by Dr. Jart. I love Dr. Jart products. I've been using this Seco Pear Cream, I think it's called, for a few months now. I use it every day. Now this is a BB cream. It says multi-action skincare and makeup. It's a broad spectrum SPF 45. In general, I don't really care for BB creams. I just, I've tried a bunch of them and I don't really love any of them, so I don't, it's not a product that I use. Um, this was in the color light medium, which I feel like the color, they got it right. But, you know, with BB creams, it's not like they have like a plethora of colors. So that's, the color. I didn't really wear the right outfit for this. Okay, so rub it in. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I just don't love BB creams. I am actually wearing it today. I just put moisturizer on and then I put the BB cream on top. I have a lot of powder too. I finished with um, MAC Studio Fix because I needed a little bit more coverage, I think, than the BB could provide. Let's see what it says. Apply a quarter size amount to a cleansed face and neck 15 minutes before sun exposure. Don't forget to reapply every two hours while in the sun. Um, it says this silky multi-action cream is your one-step regimen for flawless, moisturized skin. It brightens, smooths, and protects skin from UV rays. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I would never purchase it. I might actually keep it um, for some beach kind of vacations we have coming up to try to not wear makeup and see if maybe I like it that way better. We'll see. The next product that came, this is Sephora Cream Lip Stain. Okay, that's the color. This is the tube right there. It's called Bohemian, what's it called? Purple. I'm not gonna try this on for you because the color is so not right for me, and when I tried it on the other day, it, it stained my lips, which is good if the color were right, but then I couldn't kind of get it off, and it just left this, like, ashy purple all day, which I have stuff to do today, so how can I do that? So it says, Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain Liquid Lipstick in Bohemian Purple. This silky lip stain in a deep purple shade that doesn't require reapplication. Yes, it is hard to get off. And if it were the right color, it would be fabulous. But it's not. Okay, um, how to use. Turn it up. Line and cover lips with the precise tip applicator. Finish with a sparkly high shine gloss. Turn it down. Coat lips with one swipe and then blot and blend for an ultra wearable berry tint. Top with a clear balm to lock in your color. Let me swatch it for you. Maybe I have to give it another try, but I'm not going to try it right now. The tip is really nice. Let's start with that. Can you see that? It's a nice little tip, I have to say. Okay, so now let's look at the color. It's just really purple. It's more purple than I really want. And then let's see, because let's see if I can get it off now. This is just a Neutrogena um, wipe thing. Let's try to get that off first. Oh, see, it did kind of, well, I guess it wasn't on very long. It did come off very easily. When it was on my lips the other day, I couldn't get it off. And then my three-year-old was kind of like laughing. He's like, Mommy, look at your lips. I'm like, yeah. If my three-year-old says that, I can't go out in public in that. Okay, so the lip gloss was kind of a mess. The next item that came is this, and I've never heard of this brand. It is Brio Geo. It's Blossom and Bloom Ginseng Volumizing Spray. And I can't really tell you what the, it smells like. I guess it smells like ginseng. I don't really know what that smells like, though. But it does kind of smell like that, um... It does. It smells like Origins has that ginseng face lotion stuff. And that's kind of is what it smells like. Okay. This hairsprays. I wouldn't say this is a hairspray. Okay. 
This hairspray's unique blend of lemon, ginseng, and other plant-derived ingredients gives you that instant volume and more time between washes, plus it visibly thickens strands over time, yes. I would say this is a volumizing spray. I've only used it once, and I really did like it. It says, I used it on dry hair. Hold the bottle a few inches away and spray through the hair, through dry hair before back combing the roots for rock star volume. No, I did not do that. I just kind of sprayed it and then kind of, I didn't use it today. Kind of tousled my hair and it did give it some volume. It says you can also use it um, on wet hair at the roots to give it volume and I definitely think that it would do that. I did like this stuff. It says that it has no sulfates, no para 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 blah blah, no parabens, no silicone, no artificial color. So it is, it's a pretty natural spray and I did like it. My Sephora, the only Sephora that I have where I live is inside of JCPenney and they don't really have any hair care stuff. They have like brushes and hair ties and stuff. Um, so I may need to order this, but this is definitely something I would purchase. The last item that came, which is like my bonus, it was this, and I did use this. It is a shampoo and conditioner, and it's by the brand, I'll say it's Marijo. That's probably wrong. M-A-R-A-J-O, but it has a little, like, thing over the J, which tells me that it's like, maybe that's like Ho, not Joe. I don't know. Okay. Uh, nourishing cleansing cream and deep treatment butter. It smelled good. I can't remember what it smelled like. But it did smell really good. Here was my only complaint. I have a lot of hair. My hair is not super thick. I just have a lot of it and it's long. There was not enough of this to fairly try it. So when I used the shampoo, I used it and I had put... It was probably like three day hair and I just had a ton of product in my hair and it was, I had a lot of hairspray on the ends, it was kind of crunchy, so I really needed to give it a good clean and there was not enough of this product to clean it. And I don't generally use shampoo and conditioner that have parabens and sulfates in them, so it's not that I'm used to like a big lathery shampoo and conditioner, or I should say shampoo. but. There wasn't enough in here to get all the way through my hair, and so after I'd washed my hair and then rinsed it out, I still had like, maybe I have some right here, like crunchies. You know how like you get like crunchies of your hair? I still had that. So there wasn't enough of the product in there to put on my hair, so I can't really give it a fair assessment. I think I would like it if I could use more. Um, the conditioner, there wasn't enough either to get through all my hair, because I really have to get, I like to put a little on my scalp and then like kind of more on the ends and there just wasn't enough in there so I think I would like it but I'm not sure my guess would be that this is probably a little pricey I'll go ahead and link it in the comments below and then it's like how much of it is that am I using and then it just gets to be really expensive so yeah those were the products that I received in my Play by Sephora box. I would say that this box is a win. There are two products that I love, which is the mascara and the eye pencil. And then I did like the, the spray as well. So three out of six, I consider it a win, especially only at $10. I would love to hear in the comments below what you received in your Play by Sephora box. I know everyone gets different products. There is some overlap though. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video, which is every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.